Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is Chicago in its winter time, middle of January. Last night we had uh, three inches of new snow, so it's mainly indoor flying. And to fly indoors, that means it's tiny whoop season. Uh, these are the two latest uh, tiny whoops that are out, and they're both fantastic. Um, they both have more power than previous ones and are lighter for the amount of power that they have. Uh, these are the first one here that came out about two months ago is your uh, Beta FPV Meteor 65 and then the one that came out about a month ago, the last one out, was the uh, Happy Model Mobula 6. Um, like I said, what sets these apart is they have a lot of power and for a light weight. Uh, so it really makes uh, whoop racing, uh, tiny whoop racing, a lot different, especially on a large track or outdoors. Uh, let's weigh these two. Okay, um, we have the Meteor 65 weighs 22.8 grams. The battery weighs 7.6 grams, and then the Mobula 6 weighs 19.8 uh, grams, and the battery weighs. 7.7 grams. So we have a total um, all-up weight for the Meteor 65 of 30.3 grams and um, for the Mobula 6 it's 27.4 grams. Uh, these uh, all-up weights are for the amount of power that these things have it's great. Uh, the way they achieve these weights, uh, lower weights for this larger size motor, these are motor sizes are the 08 25,000 kV and the 08 22,000 kV. In the past, uh, these tiny whoops, uh, like in the UR65 and the US65, they used 06 motors. Uh, by going to 08, that's two millimeters in diameter larger. Um, they they put they're heavier, and but they do put out a lot more power. Um, so that's the main change in these two tiny whoops over what you've seen in previous years. Is the amount of power, is the power that these things have. Uh, they get the uh, weight reduction on the Mobula 6, which is under 20 grams dry weight, it's amazing, by uh, mounting the VTX on the actual board, so there's no separate VTX in there. It's all on one board. Um, the other thing that they did was the camera. Uh, it's a new Runcam Nano 3 camera that weighs 1.1 gram. Uh, this camera is half the weight of the camera in the Mobula or the um, in the uh, Meteor 65, uh, which is a lightweight camera too. Uh, their 01 camera is, uh, I believe, it's two grams. Um, and the other thing that uh, the Meteor 65 did to reduce rate, weight is they took their flight control board and tapered it in so the amount of actual board is less than what previous models had. Um, so that's how they reduce these weights uh, to get a lot more power. Uh, with that I'd like to um, do some testing on these. The first thing we'll test is thrust testing. I'll put it on my little uh, thrust stand so we can measure uh, what the thrust is, and then I'll do a hover test to see how long they'll hover with the supplied battery. And then I'll uh, do a range test to see how far they go before they drop out of the sky. And then the last thing, we'll do some lap speed testing on my playground track outdoors, which I got in before the snow flew. 64. 65. 69 for Beta FPV Meteor thrust test. 64, second bump, 63. The thrust test showed that both quads had uh, 94 grams of thrust. Now we're doing a hover test uh, to see how long they will fly. I'm going, uh, I sped this up 50% and I'm going from four volts down to three volts to see what that time increment is. The Meteor 65 flew for two minutes and six seconds and the Mobula 6 flew for two minutes and 24 seconds, which is 18 seconds longer. Um, I did, um, the reason for that, I think there's quite a few variables. There's the motor 
kV, there's the efficiency of the motors and propellers, and there's also the weight. I suspected the weight, so I added a 3 gram weight, a penny, which weighed 3.1 gram, to the Mobula 6, and it dropped in time to 2 minutes, so that's the main factor on the runtime is the actual uh, weight of the quad. I'm now doing a range test uh, to see how far these quads will go. The one on the left is the Mobulus 6, and the one on the right is the Meteor 65. Um, both of these quads have a VTX with 25 uh, milliwatts, and they both have internal SPI receivers. Uh, you can see the one on the right, uh, the Meteor 65 is starting to break up a little bit with the VTX where the Mobula 6 is clear. Uh, they're running at slightly different speeds, so I'm going to stop the Mobula 6 here, the video, to let the uh, Meteor 65 catch up. And um, we end up uh, going into the field here, and the uh, range, uh, it's a VTX failure, not the SPI receiver failure year is um, 215 meters with the beta FPV Meteor 6 and it's 260 meters with the uh, Mobula 6. So the Mobula 6 uh, definitely had the better range. The next test is a lap speed testing um, using both quads going around a 500 foot long outdoor track that I have. I'm trained for the uh, consecutive fastest three laps, which for the Mobula 6, was, which was faster, was 12.3 seconds per lap, and the Meteor 65 was at 13.7 seconds per lap. I like the Mobula 6 better because uh, it costs less, it's lighter in weight, uh, it has longer flight times, um, it's faster, um, and um, power to weight ratio is greater, so it's better in acrobatics, and it holds up better. Um, the Meteor uh, 65, I broke two of the hoops, and the canopy where nothing broke um, on the Mobula 6 yet. I did like the PH2 uh, battery connector on the uh, Meteor 65, and I think the motors have ball bearings versus uh, bushings uh, on the Meteor 65, so I think it's built a little bit better. But uh, overall, um, I think the Mobula 6, if you could get one, um, is a better deal. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the area below. And thanks for watching. This is John from Chicago. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button and uh, watch my other videos.